Einstein referred to the quantum realm as spooky action at a distance, and there's good reason for that, because when we get down to these subatomic levels, the very act of observing the universe causes it to change. Now, if you're like me and you're not a physicist, this can be kind of hard to wrap your head around, but a good way to picture this is Schrodinger's cat. Imagine that you put a cat inside of a sealed box with a vat of poison. From the outside, you don't know if that cat is alive or dead, but in the quantum realm, that cat is actually both alive and dead. That cat lives and dies in a state of quantum superposition, and its true fate isn't decided until you open the box and look for yourself. Now, if you have two cats in two boxes and they're entangled together, whether cat B lives or dies is decided the moment you check on cat A. If cat A is alive, cat B is dead, and vice versa. This is the way that our universe acts all of the time on a quantum level, and the study of it really feeds into a number of philosophical debates and theories, which I will touch on soon.